the Aramaic and Palestinian Targum. We're reading Leviticus chapter 5. When a man shall have sinned and heard the voice of the oath of execration, or have been witness, or sorry, or have been himself a witness, or shall have seen the cue of the world hath transgressed against the words of an oath, or shall have known that his companion had sworn, or implicated vainly, he shall show it not, nor shall bear his sin. Or if a man touch anything unclean, whether the carcass of an unclean beast, or a carcass of unclean cattle, or the carcass of an unclean reptile, and it be hidden from him, and he, being unclean, shall touch any consecrated thing, he is guilty. Or if he touch the uncleanness of a man, even whatever uncleanness that defileth him, and it be hidden from him, and he touch anything consecrated, after that it is discovered by him, and he knoweth that he is defiled and not clean, he shall be guilty. Or if a man shall swear to make declaration with his lips to do evil or good upon any matter, upon which a man may affirm, whether of the present or the future, that he shall make declaration by oath, and he testifieth therein, and it be hidden from him, but afterward it be discovered to him, and he know that he hath falsified, and he repents not, though he hath become guilty in any of these, if he shall have thus sinned in any one of these four things, but afterwards repents, and shall make confession of the sin by which he hath sinned, and he shall bring the oblation of his trespass offering to the presence of the Lord for the sin that he hath sinned, a female lamb of the flock or a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and the priest shall atone for him that he may be absolved from his sin. But if his hand find not um, sufficiency to bring a lamb, let him bring as an offering for the trespass that he has committed two large turtle doves or two young pigeons before the Lord, one for a sin offering and one for a burnt sacrifice. And he shall bring them to the priest and shall offer that which he may choose for the sin offering first and lie its wing Sorry, and lie shall wring its head near to the spine, but not separate its head from the neck. And he shall sprinkle some of the blood upon the side of the altar, and pour out the remainder of the blood at the foot of the altar. It is a sin offering. And of the second bird he shall make a burnt sacrifice, according to the writ of the bird which he has chosen for the sin offering and not according to the writ for the bullock, or the lamb, or the young goat. And the priest shall expediate him from the sin that he hath sinned, and it shall be forgiven him. But if his hand find not sufficiency to bring two large turtle doves or two young pigeons, let him bring an oblation for a sin, a tenth part of a sin of flour for a sin offering. But let him not pour oil thereupon, nor frankincense, for it is a sin offering. And he shall bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take a handful for a commendable memorial thereof, and burn it at the altar with the oblation of the Lord. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall atone for his sin that he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him. And the remainder shall be a mincher to the priest. And the Lord spake with Moshe, saying, When a man falsifieth with falsely in sins, though with inadvertence, 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 maybe inadvertently it should be, in making misuse of the holy things of the Lord, he shall bring an oblation for his trespass to the presence of the Lord, an unblemished ram from the flock, 
with an estimation in silver regarding to the value of the holy thing which hath been misappropriated in shekels, after the shekels of the sanctuary for a trespass offering. And the misuse of the holy thing by which he has sinned, the perversion of what was sanctified, he shall make good and shall add the fifth of its value unto it and, the, and bring it to the priest who shall atone for him with the ram of the trespass offering and it shall be forgiven him. If a man sin and do against any one of all the commandments of the Lord, that which is not right to do, though he knew it not, he hath sinned, and he shall bear his guilt. But when he hath discovered it, let him bring a ram unblemished from the flock according to his estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest. And the priest shall atone for him the ignorance with which he erred ignorantly and sinned and it shall be forgiven him. It is an oblation for trespass. Whoever hath become guilty, a trespass oblation, let him bring an oblation for trespass unto the name of the Lord for the sin that he has sinned. This is the end of the reading. But I do want to say here, you know, the temple... And the Levitical priesthood has come to an end. It came to an end at 70 AD. It came to an end with Yahushua HaMashiach being the, the atonement for all of these things. All of the breaking of the commandments. The things we've done in ignorance. And, you know, how much more would the people that lived back in this day had been aware of the words that they spoke and the actions that they did and the matters of the heart and the mind when they mucked up they would have to kill an animal and put their right hand upon the head of that animal where the sin that we have done transfers into an innocent animal and they take the price for that one thing that you did. How much more would they have been aware of how they conducted their life in reflection of God's ways and his order and his Torah? You know, we don't see animals die through things that we've done. I mean, Yahushua took that sacrifice but maybe we should think about it, you know, learn his ways. And if we break them, which we do do from time to time, we will then think about an animal that I have to go and get, a cow, a goat, a sheep, turtle doves, wring its neck for something that I did. So I think one of the reasons why Yah did this for a couple of thousand years for the children of Israel, because we were so stiff-necked, rebellious, and full of the world. He, We had to see, see something, do something, so that we were aware of our life and how far from the Father we are. And, and you know, it's wonderful that Yahushua HaMashiach did that. He is our high priest. He did that for us, and we're so grateful. But, you know... We need to be aware that our, so there's a cost to our sin. We need not sin. And as Yahushua said to the men that he he healed, go and sin no more and do go to the priest and do as he says. He still had to do an atonement himself because Yahushua had not gone to the cross yet. So may we all be mindful of how we conduct ourselves in reflection to how we ought to be being his children. Okay, end of the reading.